Hello E39, so this is Ben from the UK, from Manchester, and this is my recent pickup. This is going to be my main daily driver, main E39. Unfortunately, the uh, 540i, which I haven't uh, done an upload for, for the channel, is uh, going to the previous owner of the 528. So this is my, uh, this is my new car. Um, it's a 1997 model 528i. Um, as you can see, it has been facelifted by one of the previous owners. Um, very, very basic. Very, very uh, well. It's, it's probably as basic as they come. Really, it's uh, it's not got any toys on it. It's not got any optional extras. Really, it's just. 528 manual five speed so um, right off the bat you can see here we've got a uh, genuine Alpina front splitter on there and um, that is 100% genuine I've, uh, I've double checked on that one there it's a fairly clean car for a 1997 and uh, it's been well looked after as far as I can see it has been stood a little bit from the previous uh, previous owner we've got some uh, fading on the uh, on the hella headlights however this is going to be uh, cleaned up by myself and I'm going to uh, go over this with a fine tooth comb. Now unfortunately I'm not driving it at the moment because the water pump decided to explode on the way home yesterday. So it was uh, rather upsetting. Uh, upon changing the, well, removing the water pump this morning, I found that, uh, that it was a, a metal BMW OEM part that uh, had failed. So I've got a new one on the way and that'll be fitted. So we'll have a walk around the car. Uh, as I said, it is an SE. 97. It's got the uh, chrome SE trim. It's got the grey leather interior. It's in fairly decent condition. A uh, little look at the back here. You can see facelift rear lights, facelift bumper. Star 66 rims. They weren't standard on the car, of course, because this, uh, those alloys weren't available in 97 and they're M Sport wheels. So we can have a look at the interior now. And it's uh, very, very clean in here, considering, uh, oh, sorry about that, my uh, folder fell on the floor. Um, so it is very clean in here for a, uh, a 97. So the original wood trim, it's got the uh, BMW business uh, cassette deck. I've uh, just today added a uh, cassette to uh, three and a half mil audio jack for uh, plugging my uh, telephone in there just for music. I don't mind listening to the radio, I do have a large cassette collection, however, it's just a bit more convenient to obviously stream music to your phone and listen it through the car audio. So, uh, moving around, we've got the uh, original wood trim. I'm quite a big fan of the wood trim personally, but uh, my partner isn't, so hopefully we'll keep it, however, it may get changed. Seats are in very, very good condition. Um, I believe that the uh, the colour on these is dolphin grey. I may be wrong, of course. I've always referred to them as dolphin grey because it kind of looks like that dolphin skin colour. Very good condition. All manual seats. They're uh, not electric and they're not heated, unfortunately, so that's quite, uh, quite sad. So we've got the uh, five-speed manual transmission. Nice and... Uh, long throws it's not been modified in that sense the uh i think the bushing has gone because where you think third is that's fifth that's fifth gear that's not third that's first second third is right there so that'll have to be uh investigated and uh, had a had a look at astro seems pretty clean got some random screws in there don't know what they are the uh plastic cover with a little air freshener in there from the previous owner still works a bit, a bit sticky but nothing that a little bit of uh, lube won't help no telephone option of course this is as basic as they come and I never knew that E39s had the little tray I've always uh, the, the, the uh, 540 that I have the black one that's got the mobile phone option and it doesn't have this little tray in there as far as I'm aware anyway I can't get it to lift up but uh, yeah, magnets a little bit dodgy, um, but you know, it holds. Handbrake is actually really good on this particular car. Uh, it holds really well. It's really strong. Uh, brakes are quite strong as well, which is good. 
And this is something I've never seen before. No multifunction. Strange. Very, very strange. Um, it does have uh, a horn. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, I don't mind it. I, I kind of like it, to be fair. I'm, I'm, I'm considering uh, swapping it out for maybe an E34 M5 wheel or something along like a three-spoke kind of design. But I do like it. I don't want to go for a, uh, a facelift sport wheel personally if i do i'll go for one without the multifunction on it because uh well i'm not really too fussed so we'll uh we'll get the key we'll have a look at the mileage and now uh, this is the key that came with the car it's a bentley style flip key totally aftermarket quite heavy it does work um, all the functions work on it it's also got the beep for for lock and unlock so Locks are a little bit sticky, but they seem to work. Oh, I need to put that. Uh, just, uh, just have a look here. So where are we? Mileage. We're on 153,441 miles. All service is due soon. Have a tail light out, which is the emergency tail light. It's not the actual tail light, and uh, we have hardly any fuel in it, of course. Um, the fat little electronics fan down there, the coolie fan. You can hear that there. It's uh, a little bit noisy, so I've just watched the uh, the uh, the demo on how to uh, remove that part and get it clean. So that'll be uh, having a look at that. Doesn't have a cigarette lighter. Quite upsetting. Works though. It does work. We've got the uh, two USB to plug into it. Um, as I said. It's got ASC and that's it, nothing else. Um, it does have, if I can get them to pop out, working cup holders, the spring's gone on that, but it does work. And also this one, fully working condition. I'm not gonna be using them at, at all, I don't, I don't use them. Um, but it does have them, it's the first E39 I've had, well, first BMW I've had with cup holders, surprisingly. Uh, rear seats, really good condition, really, really nice. Um, been kept very clean by the previous owner, seat belt's nice and clean too. Um, I'll certainly be giving them a once-over just to, uh, excuse the matches, um, to, uh, you know, give them a little bit of a kind of a moisturise and all of that kind of stuff. Carpets, it has factory fitted mats. They are factory fitted BMW mats, which I'm very happy about. Carpet seems really clean. Headliner is very clean. Not a single mark on it. It's absolutely spotless. This car has definitely been looked after um, by its uh, previous owners. I'm not too sure what number owner I am as of yet. However, I will certainly be finding out. So we'll uh, just exit the vehicle. And if we uh, pause for a moment, we can have a quick look through the history folder so we'll move inside for that and take a look at the on the history okay so we are back inside um i'll just make sure that that's covered up because that's my owner's document there uh, in the uk we have what's called a v5 document uh which is a registered keepers document that just shows you who uh who you who who um doesn't own the vehicle but uh who uh who keeps the vehicle now, former keepers, I will be the 12th keeper since 1997, which is uh, cool. Um, but, you know, my 540i, I'm the 14th owner, so... Yeah. Folder with the actual 528 badge that was removed from the from the car. There is some residue on the boot, which is upsetting, but uh, that'll be buffed out. But uh, we have loads of history. As you can see, just absolutely full of receipts Stratstone BMW uh, we've got receipts here for brake pads and fluids and everything this this car has had a lot of main dealer history uh, from what I can see um, we've got quite a few uh, what we have MOT over here which is a uh, certificates for uh, for um, MO, uh, for uh, like testing basically so we uh we have an MOT every year um, and then once that's been approved you can uh, go on the road basically so you've got a sensor there looks like we've had an align 
part two of the video. Sorry about that. It's got some MOT certificates. Just uh, detailing exactly what's uh, what's been done on the car. Lots and lots of stuff here. We've got some Halfords uh, receipts. Relevancy roll bars. MOT, again, MOT certificates and um, just loads of receipts and documentation, and, which is fantastic. You know, these the, the previous owners have definitely uh, done their done their due diligence here for keeping everything updated. And so we have uh, some documentation here for previous owners, tax discs. You don't see those anymore. Uh, for taxing the vehicle, we have these. You used to have these discs that you used to have to display in the in the uh, the mirror, uh, in the windscreen. However, we don't have that anymore because that is, uh, yeah. So basically, this document here is just for the number plate. It's transferable. So it's a private private number plate. And some job sheets here. Euro car parts. Absolutely loads and loads and loads of history. I love vehicles like this. It's, it's, I mean, this is the first time I'm actually looking through it properly, but, well, I say properly, we're just going uh, you know, going through it, but, you know, use car invoice. Uh, we've got a new battery there. What's this say? Use sales, car sales invoice. Handbrake shoes. Lots of cool cool history all dated all in date order you know, air filters and grills some work completed yeah it's really it's really been looked after this car it's it's i can't believe how good of condition it actually is um it's it's really really impressive it's really really impressive what's this high performance grease <laughs> that's one for the book so uh, you know as you can see here this was just kind of just having a bit, a bit of a flip through and, and showing you that the vehicles had a lot of history kept with it and that's always good so we are uh, going to end it here um just want to say thank you thank you very much to everybody at e39 source you guys have been an absolute pleasure to uh, be part of community wise um really really love your videos really really love all of the help that you've given me with all of my BMWs, especially the E39s, and you guys are probably one of the main reasons why I bought one. Well, two. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope to uh, hope to see some of you all. Please give me some feedback on the car. Um, you know, if you're in the UK, if that was your previous car, please let us know. I'd love to hear more about it. Um, and I'm certainly probably going to be asking questions about the uh, the 2.8 liter M52 engine because it's the first one I've ever had, and uh, hopefully going to be doing some some good home servicing so thank you very much this is ben from manchester in the uk 339 sauce signing out take care